Hello students, welcome to a new session of our mathematical world. Today we are going to open up a new topic, linear equations in one variable. We know that an algebraic expression is an expression that contains numbers, variables, and mathematical operations. Here are some algebraic expressions. Let's recollect terms, variables, and coefficients in an algebraic expression. In this expression, x, y, and z are the variables. And minus 2x, 3y, minus 4z, and minus 8 are terms. The number associated with a term is called a coefficient. In the term minus 2x, minus 2 is the coefficient of x. In 3y, 3 is the coefficient of y. And in minus 4z, minus 4 is the coefficient of z. The term minus 8 has no variable associated with it, therefore, it is called the constant term. We know that a linear expression is an algebraic expression where each term is either a constant or a variable raised to the first power. Consider the equation xyz plus y plus x plus z. xyz y x and z are the terms of this equation we can calculate the power of each term in the term xyz the power of xyz is the sum of the power of each variable therefore the power of the term xyz equals 3. in the term y the power is 1. in the term x the power is 1 and also in the term z, the power is 1. So the power of the expression xyz plus y plus x plus z is 3, because the power of the term xyz is 3, which is the highest power. Here are some algebraic expressions. Can you identify linear expressions among them? In x squared plus 1, the power or degree of the variable is 2, so it is not a linear expression. In y plus y cube, the power of y in a term is 3, so it is not a linear expression. In 2x minus 3, the power of x is 1, so it is a linear expression. In 3x plus y, there are two variables x and y, and their highest power in the expression is 1. Therefore, it is a linear expression. In 2xy plus 5, there are two variables x and y, and each variable is raised to the first power. But in the product xy, the power of the variable part is the sum of the powers of each variable, that is, 2. Therefore, it is not a linear expression. In x plus y plus z, there are three variables x, y, and z, and the highest power is 1. So it is a linear expression. In x minus 3, the power is 1, therefore, it is a linear expression. In x square plus x plus 1, the highest power is 2. So it is not a linear expression. In 2x raised to 4 plus 3, the power is 4. So it is not a linear expression. In the linear expressions, 2x minus 3, 
3x minus y, x plus y plus z, and x minus 3, 2x minus 3, x minus 3, contain only one variable x. But in 3x minus y, there are two variables, x and y. In x plus y plus z, there are three variables, x, y, and z. Therefore, 2x minus 3 and x minus 3 are the linear expressions in one variable. Here in this session, we will deal with linear expressions in one variable only. 2x plus 3 and 5 plus x are two linear expressions in one variable. When we connect these two expressions by an equal sign, it forms an equation. That is, an equation is a statement that the value of two mathematical expressions are equal. And the expressions are connected through an equal sign. So 2x plus 3 equals 5 plus x is an equation. In this equation, the expression to the left of the equal sign is called the left-hand side of the equation denoted by LHS. And the expression to the right of the equal sign is called right-hand side of the equation denoted by RHS. In an equation, the value of the expression on the LHS and RHS are equal. Now, take a look at this weighing scale. Yes, an equation is just like a weighing scale. Take a weighing scale with one hand, consists x kilogram weights of 2 in numbers and 1 kilogram weight of 3 in numbers. On the other hand, the weights are x kilogram and 1 kilogram weights of 5 in numbers. If we take 1 kilogram from LHS, we can see that the LHS and RHS will not be balanced. To be balanced, we take a weight of 1 kilogram from our HS. Now see it, both LHS and our HS are balanced. We can take X kilogram, 1 kilogram, and 1 kilogram. Now, the weighing scale is balanced when LHS and our HS are equal. Or, the equations are equal if x equals 2 is the solution of the equation. Also we can find the solution of an equation algebraically. In the equation, 2x plus 3 equals 5 plus x. When we put x equals 1, LHS becomes 2x plus 3 equals 2 multiplied by 1 plus 3 equals 2 plus 3 equals 5. Our HS becomes 5 plus X equals 5 plus 1 equals 6. Clearly, LHS is not equal to RHS. That is, X equals 1 is not a true value for this equation. When we put X equals 2, LHS equals 2X plus 3 equals 2 multiplied by 2 plus 3 equals 4 plus 3 equals 7. RHS equals 5 plus X. 5 plus 2 equals 7. That is, LHS equals RHS. That is, 2 is a true value for the variable X in the equation. In other words, x equals 2 is a solution to the equation. So a solution of an equation is the value of the variable that makes the values of LHS and RHS of an equation equal. Let's have a quick recap. Today, we discussed algebraic expression, variables, terms, coefficients, constant, linear expressions, equations, linear equations in one variable, and the solution of an equation. It's time to check how much you understood 
with the help of an activity. Find the value of the variable that makes the equation true. 8x plus 5 equals 3x plus 25. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.